welcome back to Four Wheel Drive Adventure Crew. We're out here in El Dorado National Forest, right outside Lost Lakes. And today we're gonna go explore area that got burned down by the forest last year. And one of the trails that potentially is lost, that was really cool, is uh, Strawberry Pass. We're gonna head up there from here. It's gonna take us a little bit. We're gonna explore some awesome views with this kind of mountains up here. And then we're gonna start the ascent up to Strawberry Pass and see what's left of it after the big huge fire. So stay tuned. We'll show you guys the report of what's going on with that trail. of a broken gla glass driving on these rocks. Mm. Yep. We just got on top of the hill here overlooking the one of the lost lakes. The other lost lake is behind that hill. But uh, that's how smoky the skies are right now in the mountains. And that's not good. Means we're entering uh, another bad fire season so forest might be shut down soon again like last year so hopefully everybody got their fill of camping before they shut it down again but uh, it is needed to be happening for protection so uh, we're getting some high altitude mountains they look like alpines which is awesome it's a beautiful area. This is a really cool pass over here. And we are at 8,800 feet. And that mountain is another probably 1,000 foot, if not bigger. So those are close to uh, 10,000 foot mountains up there in front of us. That's crazy. trees and the high mountains such a scenic drive over here the roads a little rough bumpy but it's still uh, pretty nice actually worth taking a drive on the modified vehicle versus just taking a stock car through this kind of road that's what makes the whole awesome scenery here 
We got out to Highway 88. All we have to do is uh, drive about four miles up towards the mountain and turn off onto the road that leads us up to Strawberry Pass. Stay tuned, we're about to hit the pavement. Strawberry Bass entrance from the Highway 88 side, and this is the science we got here. So we're gonna start climbing up the hill. This side of the trail or the mountain did not get affected by the recent fire, only the Highway 50 side. So we're going to see how far we're going to get and what's left of the old trail before the uh, dozers came in and uh, graded it out and uh, made sure they can get all the vegetation out and all the dead trees out. So. That's pretty much what we're trying to figure out is what's left of the trail. This side of the mountain still has plenty of vegetation and beautiful flowers everywhere. It is uh, still a beautiful road to go up to the awesome lookout that's right ahead of us. These beautiful blue flowers smell really good. It's really nice scent going up this dusty road and uh, have some uh, smell of the meadows. It's really cool. And we're almost to the top. Nice cold breeze outside. It's gonna be a little windy at the very top because uh, we already feel the wind blowing up here so it's gonna be a little chilly up there made it to the lookout place on this trail but unfortunately with this kind of a smoky skies you can't see anything well you can see the smoke but that's about it yeah you can't even see the lake that's right there wow High Mountain Lookout.
covered in smoke. gonna go into the burn down section so we're leaving the lookout place which is still here it's still worth the drive just to get to this awesome view but now let's go see what the road looks like heading towards 50 or from 50 whichever way you want to travel but we're heading towards 50 we'll see what it looks like of uh, burnt forest here so I guess there's a lot more to come sticks some rough sections are still here so It's nothing big, it's just bumpy, but uh, it's not completely dozed on this side yet. on big tires so anybody with the smaller tires it's gonna be a little more interesting here you'll have to put it in four-wheel drive and all kinds of fun stuff Starting the big descent into the thick forest, or well, used to be forest, we'll see what's left of it. Or is it all still left here? So we'll find out here shortly. running into the trees 
means the wildlife is still thriving out here. Another little water crossing. I think after a few winters, this road's gonna erode real bad and there's gonna be, again, plenty of obstacles here. Right now it's all washed out. I would still keep this trail as one of the easy trails to go out and explore the woods for beginner off-roaders because it's still beautiful here and provides a little bit of challenge. One of the hills that actually got burnt quite a bit and you can see a dozer tracks over here that they've been dozing stuff out but the road's still kind of rough so it's not perfect perfectly flat still has its own little challenges is washed out still. dust on the ground here and it becomes a big gray cloud of uh, dust as soon as you drive over it so it's the only unfortunate thing but I think few rainstorms and few more winters and uh, all that stuff is gonna be gone and hopefully some new obstacles will arise because all the old obstacles all the rocks rock gardens and boulders got removed for easy access for the fire trucks and everything so but looks like the road is uh, getting eroded by water streams running down it and uh, hopefully within a few years we'll have some new awesome obstacles up here we're almost to the end of the trail and uh, so far I would say the trail is still fun still has obstacles still got plenty of scenery and green trees so not everything got wiped out by the wildfire so hopefully you guys like this little report that we did and the uh, entrance to the trail still has its uh, optional gatekeeper if anybody wants to do it but uh, on that that's pretty much it for this
Well, we finished the Strawberry Pass from Highway 88 over to Highway 50 side and uh, obstacles still there. Not all the old obstacles, those have got wiped out, but the trail still has plenty of rough road and rocks scattered all over the place and uh, still plenty of scenery. So do come out and enjoy this trail because it is one of the easy, beautiful trails and if you do it from Highway 50 to Highway 88, you will get a reward at the end of the trail with an awesome overlook and a couple uh, camping spots right on the ridge there. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure.